Senior political reporter Jason Whiteley joins us with the latest on what is being done in Austin right now. Well, right now, no indication that what happened in Allen on Saturday is going to change anything in Austin. The House bill, though, that Uvalde families wanted finally passed committee. This is the one that would raise the age to purchase certain types of rifles from 18 up to 21. This is a symbolic victory for Uvalde, but it is doubtful that this bill is going to get very much farther than this. Teresa Woodard is in Austin for us tonight. Do your job. Do your job. A rally in the rotunda outside the Texas House. Inside. And Mr. Speaker, I would request that on behalf of the victims in my community in Allen, who I love serving, that we would um, observe a moment of silence in the Texas House. Silence for another mass killing. Not one more! Uvalde families, the last to feel this pain, at the Capitol again, with their unhealed wounds ripped wide open by images from Allen. It was uh, May 24th all over again. Javier Cazadas lost his daughter. Do you feel like anyone's listening? All I can do is hope they are. I really wish they would. He stood beside one Texas Democrat. You can't call yourself pro-life and pro-family if you don't support gun laws that save lives. After another. They've done nothing about it, but create the chaos that has led to an increase in access to guns to anybody. Imploring the Republicans in power to take up gun reform bills that had seen no action. And in a surprise move, a committee did. Right the clerk call the roll. A hastily called meeting ended with a bill raising the age to buy an AR-15 to 21, moving on to another committee. There, there being eight ayes, five nays, and zero present not voting, the motion prevails. Thanks to two Republicans who voted yes. I asked you earlier if anybody was listening, if you felt heard. I know they are now. I mean, they, they did, and not all of them, unfortunately, but... It's a start. The only Republican who spoke publicly about Allen was Representative Jeff Leach, um, who's from Allen. There's a lot we don't know. But one thing I do know is that this is happening way too much. Now, that bill that would raise the age to purchase AR-style rifles to 21 is now with what's called the House Calendar Committee. They really sort of control the entire schedule for what's going to be debated on the House floor. Members are telling me tonight they do not expect this bill to go any further than it has right now. However, Democrats specifically are telling me they will use every procedural move they can possibly think of to try to keep this bill alive.